Hello guys, I uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. I've uh, decided to make a video on uh, ChatGPT and Midjourney AI integration. Um, it's something I came across the other day on Reddit and uh, it's not my idea. Uh, someone else I, uh, who I don't know came up with this, but it's quite a good concept and uh, I wanted to share it with you because you can get ChatGPT to generate prompts for Midjourney AI. And this is an AI suggesting prompts to another AI. So your image is going to come completely from artificial intelligence. Now, there's a script that you need to put into um, ChatGPT. And um, I'm going to assume here that you have ChatGPT, GPT, you have Chat uh, Midjourney. Um, if you need to know how to use them, I'll make another video on um, how they work. But for now, let's, I'm going to assume some knowledge. So once in ChatGPT, there's this script here, which I'm going to copy. Uh, let me read it to you. It says, generate an imagined prompt that contains a maximum word count of 1500 words that will be used as input for an AI-based text-to-image program called Midjourney, based on the following parameters, slash imagine prompt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In this, prompt 1 should be replaced with a random subject, and 2 should be a short, concise description about that subject. Be specific and detailed in your descriptions, using descriptive adjectives and adverbs, a wide range of vocabulary, sensory language. Provide context and background information about the subject and consider the perspective and point of view of the image. Use metaphors and similes sparingly and help describe abstract or complex concepts in a more concrete and vivid way. Use concrete nouns and adjective, active verbs to make your descriptions more specific and dynamic. Three should be a short, concise description about the environment of the scene. Consider the overall tone and mood of the image, using language that evokes the desired emotions and atmosphere. Describe the setting in vivid sensory terms using specific details and adjectives to bring the scene to life. Four should be a concise description about the mood of the scene. Use language that conveys the desired emotions and atmosphere and consider the overall tone and mood of the, of the, of the image. Five should be a short concise description about the atmosphere of the scene. Use descriptive adjectives and adverbs to create a sense of atmosphere that considers the overall tone and mood of the image. Six should be a concise description of the lighting effects including types of lights, types of display, lighting styles and techniques, global illumination and shadows. Describe the quality, direction, colour and intensity of the light. Consider how it impacts the mood and atmosphere of the scene. Use specific adjectives and adverbs to convey the desired light and effect. Consider how the light will interact with the subject and environment. It is important to note that descriptions in the prompt should be written back to back, separated with commas and spaces, and should not include any line breaks or colons. Do not include the words phrases or numbers in brackets. You should always begin the prompt with slash imagine prompt colon. Be consistent in your use of grammar. Avoid cliches or unnecessary words. Be sure to avoid repeating the same descriptive adjectives and adverbs. Use negative descriptions sparingly and try to describe what you want rather than what you don't want. Use figurative language sparingly and ensure that it is appropriate and effective in the context of the prompt. Combine a wide vary of rarely used and common words in your description. And then there's some specifics about the, um, the nature of the um, end arguments. So I asked it this and it came up with this. Imagine prompt. A lone astronaut floating weightlessly in the vast expanse of space surrounded by sparkling stars and vibrant nebulas. The astronaut is dressed in a bulky high-tech suit that is designed to protect from, from, from the harsh environment. The suit is silver and reflective with multiple compartments and attachments. The astronaut has a look of wonder on their face as they take part in the breathtaking beauty of the cosmos. The environment of the scene is dark and quiet, with only the soft glow of the stars and nebulas providing light. The mood of the scene is serene and peaceful, with a sense of isolation and introspection. The atmosphere is vast and mysterious, with a sense of endless possibility. The lighting is ethereal and otherworldly, with the stars and nebulas casting a soft warm glow on the astronaut and their suit. The astronaut is lit from the front, with the stars providing a subtle backlight. Dash dash C fourteen dash dash S six hundred dash dash Q two dash dash AR three colon two. So that's a very good prompt that's made there. It's a lot longer than I personally would uh, ever make a prompt, but let's see what we can do with it. So let's pop it in to the mid journey. I've just been making some garden gnomes here. Have a look, right. Okay, now there's the first problem. There we go. Right. So that job's queued now. 
And whilst we're waiting for that to come through, let's go back and let's ask it to regenerate its response. Oh, it appears that I've been logged out too long. I'm going to have to go back in. And let's copy and paste that response back in. And go. <laughs> I've copied the wrong bit. Okay, let's go back to uh, here. This is the bit that I wanted to regenerate a response from. Now I've got a majestic element sitting in the uh, elephant rub, sitting in the middle of a lush green jungle. Its wrinkled skin glistering with sweat. Its long trunk reaching out to pluck out the leaves of a nearby tree. The jungle is dense, teeming with life, with tall trees towering overhead. The, 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 overhead, their leaves rustling in the gentle breeze. The sun is shining through the canopy, dappling with the ground with warm light. The elephant's eyes are calm and wise, reflecting the tranquility of its surroundings. The overall mood of the scene is one of peace and serenity. The atmosphere is humid and misty, with a scent of damp earth, greenery in the air. The light effect is natural and soft, with the sun casting a warm glow over the scene and creating subtle shadows on the elephant's skin. So let's pop that one in there as well. And we can have a look at our elephant, our uh, spaceman, whilst we do that. Now look at that, it's captured the nebula, the atmosphere, very, very good. I like that. Let's do uh, a few more whilst we're here. Let's regenerate this response. And we've got a wolf this time. A lone wolf standing on a snow-covered hill overlooking a vast valley of pine trees surrounded by a blanket of white snow. Its thick fur uh, is, is fur thick and grey. Its eyes piercing and alert, its breath visible in the cold air. The sky is dark blue-grey with a blanket of clouds, the sun barely visible on the horizon, casting a warm orange and red glow on the valley below. The wolf's stance is proud and determined as if it is surveying its kingdom, the wind whipping through its fur. The mood of the scene is peaceful yet powerful with a thing of tranquility and contemplation. The atmosphere of this is serene and crisp with a touch of wildness. The lighting effect is subtle with a warm backlight casting a gentle orange hue on the wolf and the surrounding landscape with long shadows stretching across the valley. These are great descriptions it's given out. And there is our elephant. He is fantastic. Let's do a couple more. because I'm probably going to get told that uh, ChatGPT is busy in a second. Oh, it's already having a go, so here we go. Right, whilst we're waiting for this, um, if uh, you like what you see here, or you have any questions, let me uh, know in the comments. Also, please like and subscribe to this video. Um, come and say hello on Twitter if you want. I'm at Gary Walker. That's Gary with two R's. Right, we've got a majestic eagle perched on the edge of a rocky cliff. This is a long description. Right. And we'll ask it for one final one. Whilst I'm putting this into. Oh, one of my garden gnomes came through. So we've gone back to the majestic elephant again, but um, this time it's on a savanna. So it's producing some uh, very varied topics, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if there was some repetition in here. This is a much shorter prompt. Now, I wonder why we're uh, having a go so here. Let's see what other prompts we can generate whilst we're waiting for them to come through. Oh, we've got a lighthouse this time, so it's uh, moved away from uh, the animalistic theme. A 
majestic and imposing lighthouse standing tall against the stark and windswept coastline, the brickwork rugged and weather-torn, the lantern room shining bright with a powerful beacon, its beam illuminating the rolling waves of crashing foam of the tumultuous sea. The air is salty and misty, the sky a deep shade of navy, streaked with the orange and pink hues of the setting sun. The mood is one of contemplation and isolation, the atmosphere haunting and melancholic. The lighthouse is illuminated by a warm and diffused light, casting long shadows on the rough and rocky terrain. The beam of the lighthouse cuts through the thick fog, highlighting the isolation and loneliness of the structure. And we'll have that one as well. So this one, in quotation marks, and the others weren't. Yes, so that's a variation there. So you're going to have to be careful if it puts quotation marks on there. We did specifically ask it not to, but it appears to have done it anyway. I wonder if I keep pressing regenerate response, whether or not it will further deviate from uh, what is correct. Oh, we've got some of our pictures here. Oh, my Bob Marley Garden gnomes come through. So let's have a look. Here is our wolf. These are wonderful. Have these come through yet? No. So let's go back to here. An Egyptian temple with its towering columns and intricate hieroglyphs evokes a sense of grandeur and mystery. The temple is built of warm golden sandstone and the sun's rays filter through the carved stone, a dancing light on the walls. The temple is surrounded by lush greenery, palm trees swaying in the gentle breeze and the colourful birds perched on branches. The air is heavy with the scent of incense and the sound of chanting. Adding to the sacred atmosphere, the temple is bustling with activity as scholars and worshippers alike come to pay their respects to the gods. In the centre of the temple stands a grand statue of the god Horus, his golden eyes seeming to follow the viewer as they move around the room. The temple is bathed in a warm, diffused light that highlights the intricate detail of carvings and statues. Let's give it a go. So this isn't always spot on. There uh, does appear to be little issues like adding quotes and the likes of, but each of these um, prompts has worked. So uh, I'm very impressed with that. Right, so my images appear to be coming through now. They appear to have got a little held up by some of these garden gnomes, but let's have a look at some of these ones that it's produced. These are fantastic. I really particularly like this one. These are ones a little bit more stylized, but I like the photorealism. The elephant. This one's highly stylized. I actually thought for a second that it wasn't finished then. Maybe it isn't. It's not 93%. There we go. Wow, some fantastic imagery there. And the lighthouse is just coming through. Beautiful and completely generated by AI, even the initial idea. So, what I'll do is I'll um, paste this text down in the uh, description so that if you want to use it, you can. Um, or I might leave a link to a paste bin or maybe both. And um, why don't you give it a try and uh, show me some of what you can do using ChatGPT and Midjourney together so that there's really no human element to this other than you transporting the information from one AI to the other. I love this one in the bottom right. So if you liked today's uh, lesson, uh, please like and subscribe and um, tune in for more episodes. Thank you.